Hi guys, welcome to the 14th episode of the uh, No Time to Explain speedrun uh, guide. In this video we will take a look at the final level in the Any% percent run and the final boss. Uh, in, the, in this world we get, uh, we still have our laser but we also get the shotgun from uh, one of the earliest levels. Uh, so we have dual weapon uh, access. And uh, that's quite essential, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to beat any of these levels. Um, right off the bat, just uh, shoot and shoot with the laser and shoot with the, uh, the shotgun to get up, up here. Um, and as soon as you're standing up against the door, you actually want to aim left and shoot with the shotgun because that breaks the door, which is uh, quite convenient. Um, here, shoot a little bit with the laser in general. When you have this laser shotgun combination, you want to uh, to get to maximize the height or the the speed. Start with the laser and then add the shotgun onto it. Um, if you do like both at the beginning or both at the same time, you don't get as much height as you would otherwise. Uh, and you also don't want to hold the laser for too long. Uh, actually, that doesn't matter that much. Um, but obviously it takes longer. Uh, you, you get more height, but there's none of the levels where you actually need that extra height. Um, and it takes quite a long time to get all the way up here before you can shoot. So you can get quite a lot of height there. Um, and for the 100% run, as I said, there's not any uh, any need for it. Uh, for the 100% run, you will need it actually here, where you need to go as high as you can to get into this little uh, hole. Uh, for a hat. We'll get to that uh, in a different video. Uh, but yeah, for this level, start by just doing uh, a fairly short laser shotgun combo, and the same for uh, getting into the portal, like that. Here, you can do the same thing. Um, in general, also, if you want to get from a low ground to a platform, uh, you actually want to do something like this and shoot downwards because that avoids the otherwise uh, thing where you would the, the the short animation of of your shotgun guy getting up um, So something like this um, Just makes you be able to go faster uh, If it's too much trouble in the beginning of learning this uh, this level just do the normal thing and uh, take a slower pace but eventually would you want to to learn this uh, strategy uh, and then just go to the left and into the portal here go a bit to the right first and then uh shoot the laser or shoot the uh, shotgun you can overshoot the the portal fairly easily but there is a wall and you cannot die from that wall so uh, obviously try to aim for the portal but if you overshoot it it's fine uh it's Better to overshoot than undershoot, like I did there, where you hit, can, can actually hit the spikes. Um, so something like like that, and just get into the portal. Uh, here we do a different thing. If we uh, did this first, we would either hit those spikes or those spikes. We can also go over like this, uh, but then we can't get into the portal. So the idea here is you shoot the laser all the way over, and then you use your uh, shotgun to go up here. Uh, of course, try to go as like a, as little deep into this hole as possible because it saves time. Um, so something like uh, like this is ideal. You also want to release the laser as soon as you're above the first set of spikes. Um, for for this one, we actually do the, use the uh, technique I talked about in, in the beginning, where you hold the laser for longer, but it doesn't feel like it. Uh, because you just need to go up here and uh, up like that. This one uh, can be a little bit tricky. Slow your descent and go into the portal like this. Uh, you can technically just fall down and, and go like this, but it's it's much harder and um, less consistent. So usually I uh, opt for the slower, slightly slower descent. Uh, to have a little bit more time to react. Um, this one is fairly uh, simple. You go over here and then shoot to the shoot. Then change direction with the uh, with the shotgun. Um, 
Now this make sure to change direction before shooting the shotgun, otherwise it can be uh, quite tricky to get back over there. Uh, it can sometimes be done, but it, it's it's easier the other way and uh, probably also slightly faster to go like uh, like this. Yeah. This one is uh, one of the trickier ones, especially as a casual player, but even uh, newer speedrunners are going to struggle with this one. Uh, you can go for a uh, safe strat. Can you go up here? No, no, they, uh, they fixed that in, in this version and they originally you could. But you can do the uh, safe strat of going up on the uh, slope up there. Let me see if we can get it now. Uh, something like... No, I can't? Hmm. I was pretty sure I, uh, I could fairly easily get up there. Like uh, like this, yeah. And, and then you have... Uh, this respawn to, to go through uh, this corridor if you have trouble with, with this section uh, or if you just want to practice it, of course. Um, but yeah, figure out when to shoot the laser and for how long to slow your sideways movement enough to just fall straight down and uh, onto the uh, final level before the boss. Uh, this is just a combination of most of the things that we've talked about in the previous levels. Um, going a uh, sideways movement first and then shooting the, the shotgun. Remember to uh, shoot downwards with the laser. You, you're going to do a lot of, of flicking back and forth uh, in this world. So something like this. Um, I think you're maybe supposed to do something like this. I'm not really sure. But obviously going like uh, this is uh, the fastest way. And again, over the spikes, fall down, and uh, shoot the laser at the uh, at the shotgun, shotgun like that. Go up here and into the portal and into the uh, final fight. Um, yeah, let's just uh, let's do that, and then we can talk about the final fight in there. That's uh, probably easier. Cutscene, no big deal. So um, this is probably the most RNG that you're gonna have in the entire game, uh, and can lose like. A minute, a minute and a half, if you are very unlucky and uh, or unlucky and inexperienced at the same time. Um, the first phase of the uh, boss fight, he has three phases. Is the hardest one, which is or the most RNG one, which is actually nice uh, because if he does something uh, annoying, then it's usually just faster to reset uh, by pressing R. Uh, so. Let's see if we can get an uh, annoying uh, thing. Now he's of course not being annoying, um, but sometimes he might uh, go up here on the uh, on the top layer at the beginning. Okay, he's just being really nice to me right now. Why can't he do that only? <laughs> um, come on, give me one. Uh, okay. Anyway, what you're supposed to do is uh, remove the shield and then. Uh, the developers intended that you uh, have a laser stand off with him where you have these beams connect connect and then you kind of push them back and forth uh, until you win eventually if you are far enough apart um, but the speedrun strat is of course remove the shield but try and get him to uh, or try to ignite him before he stands where anywhere where he can uh, can have this uh, laser standoff um, so okay here's an example where he go goes up there in this case I would usually just restart because it is not worth it to try and chase him and uh, if you can get this instead it's much better um, try and shoot him come on uh, okay now that his shield is off it is better to just go and uh... Uh, this is not good yeah, he's trying right really hard to get this laser standoff, which I don't want because it is slow. Very slow. Still trying to uh, shoot him. There we go. Okay, I got him. Uh, usually that is not how you want <laughs> that fight to to, ha to, to go. Uh, that was a very uh, lucky instance that I actually managed to get him in the end. Um, usually it's something like this where you can shoot him while he's in the air. Uh, and has no chance of defending himself. Um, 
and hopefully he will go straight into the portal as soon as he has been set on fire. Uh, I want to really show a, an unlucky case where he... Uh, let's try this. After a little while his shield will respawn, uh, which is very unfortunate, so you want to keep firing at him if you can. Uh, to prevent that from happening. I really want to showcase uh, the unlucky instance. Um, if he falls down into the water on the right side, it's uh, usually just a, a, a restart because he can go in an endless loop down here uh, if he falls down there for some reason. Can we uh, try and force him down there by uh, maybe like going down here ourselves? I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it. Oh, there he goes. Okay. So yeah, he will. He will just. Uh, no. Okay. He got out. Wow, that's very rare. Uh, but he can trap himself in an endless loop down there, and if he does that, then it's just restart uh, for sure. But as I said, the first phase is the uh, the hardest one or the most RNG heavy one because of the water and the upper level. In the two next ones, there aren't any of those. Uh, in this one, we have the some, some breakable blocks down at the bottom where you can actually get stuck underneath those. Also quite rare, but can happen. Um, you can break those and, and help free him, but sometimes you are just, at that point, way too late and uh, have lost too much time. Um, this one is very similar, except for uh, limited, more limited uh, spaces you can stand. But yeah, try to stand on your start block here, shoot him when you can. There's no reason to chase him, he'll always try and come back up, or most often try and come back up. And uh, you can just wait for him to do that. Have a good aim for him. And uh, again, wait for him. He can even respawn his shield while on fire, that doesn't matter actually. And the uh, th third phase. Try to avoid his shield, because that can actually set you on fire, which is very bad. And there we go, and that is the uh, final fight. Um, practice it a lot as well. It, uh, it is not as easy as uh, it may look sometimes. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it for the 80% portion of these guides. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the leaderboard soon.